Spider-Man, the web slinger we all love. He's been in a lot of films over the years. Some have been great. Some have been the Amazing Spider-Man series. Today, though, I want to talk about the posters, specifically of the MCU ilk. Now, in the past, we've had some beautiful, lovely posters, such as the following. Look at some of these gorgeous works of art. Spider-Man up close, personal. There's a lot to tell. There's a lot of story in those eyes. Hungry eyes, you could say, which is a song. Hungry eyes. I'm off topic. Let's get back on track. Let's focus, Adam. Come on. Let's start with Spider-Man Homecoming. Mm. Imagine thinking that's a good poster. You work for Disney. You are commissioned to make a poster for Spider-Man. One of the largest studios on the planet. One of the largest superhero properties. And this is what you come up with. A fourth grade elementary school collage of some of the random shit in the film. Nobody on this poster looks happy to be here except for Aunt May. What is she smiling about? Everyone else is dead serious. Not only is Tony Stark engulfed in flames, but he's got a bird man blowing out of his heart, out of his chest cavity. I like the Spider-Man suit, but it looks like he's wearing a Casio watch in the poster. This band is so thick. He's like a douchebag going to a fish concert. Also, what is the focal point of this poster? Because you know what? My eyes are drawn directly to Iron Man flying above the Spider-Man logo. I, is he the main character here? If we zoom in, we can see Shocker even made the poster. He's, he's so tiny and he's doing his little attack that he does precisely one time in the movie. This was poster material to the designer. I would just love to know what the theme of the poster is. The characters are looking in every direction, every which way. Happy suiting up like he's going to prom, which I guess is maybe the most relevant thing in the poster because they do in fact attend to prom in this. But I think what truly annoys me the most is the July 7th yellow font treatment. Where did they pull that color from? You could eye drop this poster and you're not gonna find that yellow anywhere else. Well, what an obnoxious choice. And I get you want to draw the eye down there, but no, you don't. You don't want to draw the eye to the way bottom of the poster for the movie release date. You want to entice people to see the movie to begin with. And nothing says go see the new Spider-Man more than a poster featuring 72 people doing random shit. Failure. Awful poster. Let's move on. There's like seven or eight Spider-Man Homecoming posters. I don't know if they're all official that I'm seeing online. I think they are, and there's one tell. There's one constant in all of them, and it might not be what you think. It's not Spider-Man, it's the Avengers Tower. It somehow makes its way into almost every single one of these posters. It's like a fucking Where's Waldo of the Avengers Tower. Someone over at Marvel was like, I don't know if Spider-Man's gonna sell this picture by himself. We gotta have the Avengers Tower in there. That's what people are really gonna be drawn to. Avengers. Look at this. Boom. Avengers Tower. Boom. Avengers Tower. Enhance. Boom. Avengers Tower. Kaboom. Avengers Tower. Next up on the shit list is Spider-Man Far From Home. This might be worse. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that chrome Spider-Man symbol behind these actors is atrocious. Someone learned how to use the cropping tool, baby. Look how they cropped them kind of into the symbol. They thought it was a good idea on paper. It didn't play out that way. Let's talk about the pros. One, we only have three actors on this poster instead of 35, so at least we've scaled back there. That's it. That's the pro. Only three actors. All, again, looking in different directions. Nick Fury's got a gun on the poster. He's, he, for some reason, made the poster. Uh, listen, I love Samuel L. Jackson, but is he really the prominent character we need displayed here for Spider-Man? We have a couple different stock background locations, the Big Ben Tower. It's kind of telling people, this is a cross-country film. You're going to be going to different places with Spider-Man. Must have been the same crew that did the last set of posters because we got that atrocious yellow again. That obnoxious look at me, look at me at the top and bottom. I will say this, at least they carried the color from the beginning to the end of this story, this poster story. At least there's some consistency, even if it's terrible. What the fuck is the light source on this poster? Look at the chrome. Every angle of that thing is getting hit with light. Harsh light on all angles. Even the actors are lit up very inconsistently because, you know, that wasn't they weren't shot for this poster. I think that's a problem in general with new movie posters is... 
they're not artistically done. They're not painted or drawn ahead of time or planned out. So they're really just taking photos they already have and just splatting people in here and there. And hopefully they work. There's a myriad of posters in this same vein, uh, a few different styles using the three characters. Sometimes Holland has a mask on, sometimes he doesn't. There are some good ones though, out of this film. There's, there's better ones for sure than Homecoming. This one, for example, I really dig. It's got the different stickers of the places that Spider-Man's traveling to. He's got, of course, the I Love New York sticker, which props his, his hometown. It's a playful poster. It reflects Spider-Man more. Plus we just have a beautiful illustration of the Spider-Man mask. It's simple, it's clean, it's creative, and it's different. It's interesting, it sets it apart from all those other stock photos we see. Here's another one I like, Spider-Man's hanging upside down, reading a magazine in London. Can we enhance? Oh good, I just wanted to make sure the Avengers Tower wasn't back there, we were okay. I like the poster because it tells you that this is a road trip film, Spider-Man's not in New York, there's some nice symmetry going on, but it's not perfect. Things are off a little bit, just enough to, to keep you interested. If everything was too lined up, it's not as exciting. So the person knew what they were doing here. They took some time on it, and I, I give them respect for that. <laughs> Here's another one of the posters that uses the three guys, the stock photos. We threw in a couple others, though, for good measure. You got Zendaya in there looking completely lost. Happy, Happy's on here again. And then for some reason they just threw in one of the, the digital monster creatures at the bottom. Just, just like small. It's so weird because in the film these, these creatures, these titans are larger than life, right? They're big scale. So to, to put them in this tiny little aspect really does nothing for the audience or for the viewer looking at this poster. It makes them look weak. It makes it look pathetic. I also have no idea what the triangle symbols are for. I, I don't remember that being a thing in the movie. Is that a Mysterio symbol of sorts? I, I really don't know. <laughs> Look at Happy. He looks so pleasant. He's just like, he's just happy to be on the poster. He's like, hey, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm here again. I'm here. The sky is so ugly though. It looks completely manufactured. Nothing, nothing about this is interesting. Except for Tom Holland's jawline. That son of a bitch has a beautiful jaw. God, to have his jawline would be just, I just wish I could do it. No, it's never going to happen for me. Spider-Man No Way Home's on its way out, and I was looking for posters for that. There's a shit ton of them. I don't know if any of them are official. I even googled official, and I came up pretty short. I swore there was a Doctor Strange one with, with Peter Parker, uh, but it failed to resonate any sort of enjoyment from me so i guess i'll just leave it at that if there's any other posters you want me to talk about and rag on let me know in the comments i'll try to mix in a couple of you know positive comments here and there as well the mcu has plenty of material so i'm not done talking about their posters to begin with but just in case there's any that come to mind let me know in the comments and please like the video and share it around if you had a good time subscribe if you haven't and hopefully i'll see you around